It's Thursday already, and I have to read from the prophet Jeremiah, uh, chapter 1. When I brought you into the garden land to eat its goodly fruits, you entered and defiled my land. You made my heritage loathsome. The priest asked not, where is the Lord? Those who dealt with the Lord knew me not. The shepherds rebelled against me. The prophets prophesied by Baal and went after useless idols. Be amazed at this, O heavens, and shudder with sheer horror, says the Lord. Two evils have my people done. They have forsaken me, the source of living waters, and they dunk themselves cisterns, broken cisterns that hold no water. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Ooh. Now. Have it happened to you? Have you had a leaky bottle, leaky bucket, and not even realizing it? Let's say there's the other side, and all of a sudden it leaks. Oh, man. Isn't that disastrous? A pain? Especially when you're not even aware of it. Leaky. Hmm? Ah, yeah, flowers. And that's what they tell Jeremiah speaks to his people, the Israelites, huh? They dug themselves cisterns, broken cisterns that hold no water. Especially in a land that's so desert, it's important to have water. You need cisterns to hold water, of course. Imagine that those are leak. Oh my goodness. Hmm? And that's what they've done. They hold no water. What do they do wrong? they forsaken God. And now they fill it with stuff that is useless. Pleasures of sins that will not satisfy their needs. So that's what you're holding on to. Things that cannot fulfill, things that cannot satisfy. What satisfy you? What do you try to fill your cistern up with? Hmm? Pleasure? Relaxation? Comfort? Well, there's a temporary, you know, pleasure in it for sure, no doubt, but those things are like a leaky cistern. They don't last. They leak out, and you're going to be empty. Only one thing that fulfills us, that fills our thirst, and that is God alone. God bless you.